Well, the chances are actually what the opposition want to grasp if they consider it's worth uh, uh, already uh, dismissing this, uh, this re replacing this uh, cabinet, or or if it, they want to take more time, it's really up to them. Maybe they will. It's not up to the content of the speech itself, but rather their political opportunity to to grasp. I mean, this may be later on because. Uh, I think the, the their very difficult budget to do. It's a tall order for this new government, and I'm not sure the other government, uh, another party, would like to do this this job. I mean, it's it's a, it's a hard job, and someone has to do it. So they rather let perhaps this Barney government do it, and later, perhaps next year, uh, 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 put it down. But it, it's true that Barney's government is really walking on a tightrope. Uh, and and last last uh, evening, uh, the prime minister, uh, you could see he was trying to. Uh, attract uh, uh, left-wing votes by you know uh, referring to a possible increase of of, uh, of of taxes to the to the most rich uh, uh, and even also to, to some to the uh, uh, private sector uh, and also on his far right uh, he was quite strong and harsh on 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 the way to uh, tackle migration so I think he's trying also to reach out uh, to those MPs knowing that they, they he needs their their confidence. But they, we will get uh, to know better uh, what he had in mind, of course, uh, in his upcoming speech on, on the 1st of October. Sebastian, I know I meant to ask you about the fiscal side and uh, the economy minister, but I'm really quite curious about the immigration minister because uh, the appointment here was a very conservative appointment. What does that mean for stemming the rise of the far right, having someone that has a voice in government when we know that it is all about a countdown to the next election and whether the center ground can make a difference here well i think it was quite uh, you, you you raised the right point i mean bruno retailleau with the probably the the most on the right in barnier's party uh, lr uh, he's he's going to be uh, perhaps um, a way to answer the the concerns of the voters of uh, of uh, marine le pen who remember on the first round of the general elections were uh, nearly 10 or 11 million. So there needs to be an answer to that. Um, I think Barnier uh, mentioned that what he's trying to do on migration is not a far right policy, uh, although it will be strong. He referred actually to uh, Keir Starmer's approach. He refers to uh, other social democrats elsewhere in Europe, uh, uh, Schultz or or the Danish prime minister, to, to show that even if you try to tackle it uh, strongly, um, it, it's not uh, just a far right policy. So he, but it is uh, perhaps one of the greatest concern among voters. Uh, who, uh, again, they know a bit, Bruno Otayo, he's pr probably one of the only figures that are known in, in this government, because otherwise there are no political heavyweights in this government. It's really a minor uh, members of cabinet, very, or either young or, or inexperienced. So I think it's really a government much more in the hands of, uh, of Barnier himself. May I ask you about the two men that arguably will have the toughest job in this government, the economy and finance minister and the budget minister. So you were saying two young and kind of relatively inexperienced men. They both come from Macron's side there. And yet we're hearing more uh, reports that the budget deficit is worse than expected, could reach 6% this year. It feels like it's out of control. So how much room of maneuver do these two men have? What kind of policies can we expect from them? But what I found interesting is that you're right to point out that they they, they do come from the Macron uh, uh, political sphere, uh, but they they're not political heavyweights again. So, and what is also new in the way this uh, government was uh, shaped is that the the budget minister reports directly to the prime minister, which usually is not the case. So it means that Barnier wants to keep uh, the grip on the on the. Um, on the budget, and um, he he knows also that he will in the national assembly this budget uh, will more easily get voted if if there are some uh, higher taxes because that will be pleasing both to the left and to the far right. So um, it it's a, it is a taboo for Macronist, but I mean uh, Barnier also said that he needs to to show that if this is not just pure continuity, and perhaps it's easier to uh, if this is. Man, made by Macronists themselves, uh, it will be easier for them perhaps to swallow it because it will be actually uh, the budget of one of, of their of their peers. So uh, I think it's perhaps clever to to do it that way.